Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome here today in our, on our day 10 of 30 days, 30 tips on burnout. And we are here today to discuss about um, if I can still go to work, even though I have a burnout or I have been through a burnout. So that was a question that I received from one of the fellow followers in our, in Instagram. And when I saw that, I thought another question, which is, would you go and play football if you have broken your leg? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I cannot say yes, I cannot say no, but it's going to be tricky. So, of course, it depends. When we're talking about burnout, it depends on what stage of burnout you have been, whether you are in the beginning, whether you have been uh, through a burnout for a long time, uh, whether it's at the one of the, the, the last stages, the depression or the chronic anxiety state. Well, it depends. Let's, let's take that into account. It depends on the impact that the burnout has had in your life. So let's start with saying no. No, you cannot go back. No, you cannot go back because first you need to heal. First, you need to take care of yourself. First, you need um, to take a break and not take a break just to go on holidays, but take a break means have a plan, form a plan on what you're going to do when you're back at work. Is it Because it cannot be the way it used to be. It's something needs to change. People that they take a break and they go on holidays, but then after a few months they are going back to work, they dread the moment that they will go back to work because they haven't prepared. Because still the work environment and themselves in their work environment, it's not a safe combination. So while we're taking the break, we need that so that we can formulate a plan. We can do drastic changes in our life so that we are not going to have it again in our life, in, uh, burnout in our life. So, like, for example, sometimes you go to your doctor and you say, well, I have a lot of stress. And they say, well, you need to start exercising or you need to go have a walk uh, at the park, you know, every day, start walking or going, uh, uh, being closer to nature. If you do that, but while you're exercising, you're thinking, why am I doing that? This is, this is just a waste of time. What about the project that I need to finish? When am I going to finish it? And what happened with, with this email? Uh, I need to report that or I need to change that. And why this colleague talked to me like that? If you're still occupied with negative thoughts, you're not doing anything. Even though you're walking or, I don't know, running miles, it doesn't change anything. We need to change the mindset, the, the stressful mindset that created the burnout. At the same time, yes, you can still work even though you have some symptoms of burnout. But it cannot be the same way, again, that it was before. I'm saying the same thing. It cannot be as it used to be. You cannot continue on the same routine, on the same rituals. You have to form new routines, new habits, new balance in your life. You have to see what is your support network in your life and who are the people that you can count on. You have to change the way you're thinking. You have to formulate boundaries, to set boundaries not only to other people, but also to yourself. When are you going to say no to extra work? When are you going to say yes to something which brings you joy without feeling guilty? So we need all these changes if we want to continue working, even though we're going through a mild burnout or we have burnout symptoms. So what I would like to ask you to think is, um, besides time for work, and make a checklist. Do I have time for fun in my day? Do I have time for connection in my day? Do I have time for sleep? Enough sleep. Eh? I'm not talking about four or five hours. Enough sleep. Do I have time for exercise? Do I have time for self-reflections? You know, uh, thinking about my life, about my dreams, about my hope, about uh, next the next day about my needs, about my wants, about what gives me life? Do I have time for reflections? And also, do I have time for nothing? Just do nothing. Your brain needs time for nothing. Just to watch the ceiling, or do nothing. Your brain needs that, even if it's for five minutes. Write this checklist of these things. 
And besides time for work, do you have time for all these things? I got another question, which is really important. And I want you to keep that. How to work or how to study nine to five and still be human? This is what I would like you to keep from today's tip. We need to find a way to be human while we're working or studying or focusing on something important in our life. We don't need to exclude that from our life in order to be human. How to learn to be human while we are doing something else which is which requires a lot of change, a lot of energy. More practices on how to learn to protect ourselves after a burnout or preventing a burnout, we are going to discuss on our six week uh, series, mental fitness series on burnout resilience that starts on February. Contact me for more information because we are going to explore a lot of what we said today on that workshop. Thank you very much for being here today. I really value your presence. It's really important that you are taking all these with all these welcoming feeling and you find it useful. That that's really a, I really appreciate that. So see you tomorrow with a new tip. Have a nice day and take good care of yourselves.